Rouse gave up his business as a hairdresser when he inherited his father's farm in the village of Horton, in the English Cotswolds. But he was not a successful farmer and began to lose money. He was a womanizer, despite having a wife for ten years, and doctor, they had two children. He outraged many of the inhabitants of this picturesque little village by his behavior. In the spring of 1984, Graham had contacted the police and said that his life had been threatened soon after his stockman found a sheep's head impaled on a fence with a note that read, You're next. On the morning of April 19th, Graham offered his wife the use of his own car. As soon as she turned on the ignition switch, the car exploded in a burst of flames. Mrs. Packhouse was not killed, but suffered severe injuries and burns. Expulsive experts discovered that she had been the victim of a pipe bomb. It seemed there was some substance to Graham's claims of threats to his life, so a full-time guard was mounted on the farm. Questioned by police, Graham admitted that there was a number of people whose wives he had been seducing and having some affairs with, and who no doubt would be glad to see him dead. He also mentioned a neighbor, Colin Taylor, with whom he had been in dispute over a right-of-way on his farm. Graham asked the guard to leave just nine days after bombing, so an alarm was installed instead that linked to the police station some distance away. On the evening of the 30th of April, the alarm sounded when police arrived. They found Graham covered in blood. Was a deep slashes across his face and chest lying beside him was a shotgun. And at the foot of the stairs lay the body of Colin Taylor. He was shot in the chest at point-blank range. In the hand of Colin was a craft knife. He told police that Colin had attacked him in the kitchen with a craft knife in self-defense. Graham had grabbed his shotgun and shot him the first indication that all was not as it seemed came when the forensic lab examined the blood splashes at the scene. The drops were round, indicating that Graham had been standing still or moving slowing as he bled. If there had been a violent struggle, such as he described, the blood would have been flung about, landing in a characteristic exclamation mark shape. In addition, some kitchen chairs had fallen on top of the round spots, and one had a long smear. Graham's blood on its top, but no blood on his gun. Finally, although Colin's body lay at the far end of the passage leading to the kitchen, there was no trail of blood along it, suggesting that Graham's wounds were self-inflicted while he stood in the kitchen. On May 13th, 1984, Graham was arrested and charged with the murder of Colin and the attempted murder of his wife when the car exploded into flames. As for the motive for the murder, the court learned A.H.T. Graham had accumulated bank debts of more than 70,000 pounds. In March 1984, he had increased the insurance on his wife to 100,000 pounds. He was found guilty on both charges and was sentenced to two terms of life in prison. <laughs>